try looking at my makeup bag first. I'm going to put uh, the names of all the products that I'm mentioning in the description box below, as well as a link to where I've got the pom pom bag, which I sell in case you want to have a look. This little guy is from Paris. I use it only summertime. It's a so fun. It reminds me of the beach. I love the beach. I'm a complete beach buff. So, it's a summer makeup bag. Of course, purple cream is always in there. Eyelash curler from Shimura, of course, is always in there because if it rains, my eyelashes will go straight, so I need to pull them. That's how serious I am about them. Yes. Today I'm wearing a Sicily lip crayon in number two. It's a really nice, it's a really nice warm tone. Pink. Naturally. I'm pink obsessed at the moment. One of my favorite fragrances at the moment is this one from By Rodeo. I really need to buy a travel size one. This is huge and heavy and I'm still lugging it around with me. What else have we got here? My Tarte concealer in case I need to reapply it somewhere. Uh, and then I have my Shurumura uh, brush that I carry with me. It's just got the residues of the loose powder on there. So I just seal with this. Um, yeah, and I carry the loose powder with me. I always, always carry red lipstick with me just because my eyelids are super oily. They're sort of like Niagara Falls up there. So um, when my eye makeup smudges and I can't be bothered to reapply, then I just sort of smudge it off and put a red lip on and put the focus on my lips instead. So this one is from Chanel. Really nice red color. This is Max Eyeliner in Pro Long Wear because I need it. Uh, I need sort of almost waterproof uh, eyeliner. Uh, I use this on the inside of my eyes as well as on my eyelids and I smudge it. I like makeup to look really effortless and smudgy like I didn't make much of an effort. I mean smudgy in a good way, not like lipstick up here, you know what I mean. Just soft um, and natural. Although, I'm, even when I am wearing a lot of makeup, I like it to look as though I'm not and that I didn't make too much of an effort. And actually, a little trick for you, uh, what I do is I cleanse my face, I put the eyeliner on the inside of my eyes and I sleep with it on. And what you get is this beautiful, sexy uh, eyeliner look that you can't really recreate too easily. Um, I mean, it's, it's nothing quite like it. I really like it. Even when I try to recreate it, it's not quite the same. I have to like blink and try to smudge it. So it's better to just sleep with it on. It does smudge quite a lot uh, on me anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, in the morning. So what I do is I just take the residue off. Where I don't want to have the icon and leave the rest on. It looks really nice. I love that look. Of course, I always have my phone with me. I didn't have it in my bag right this moment, but it's always there. And I also have my Smite Sun Diary with me at all times. Um, I love this diary. It's a really nice, good quality diary without logos everywhere. So yeah, it's nice and discreet, but good quality. Monogrammed, really soft gold um, hardware. I like to write with a pencil, so I've got everything in here. I don't really use the diary on my phone. Oh yeah, and these. Really into cheap sunglasses at the moment. I've got these. don't know why, it's just a phase I'm going through for the past two weeks. I keep buying really cheap um, sunglasses from the most random strange places that you would normally never go into. Um, yeah, let's have a look in here. My key is always on this thing here which is attached to my bag so I don't have to fish for it. I just pull this out and it's attached to that but it's just by the door at the moment. Right, hand disinfectant should really get a smaller one of these as well. Um, mobile charger, always carry this with me. I charge my phone probably four times a day. Not always on this, because I don't think this can charge four times, but I charge it four times throughout the day. So if I leave the house and it needs to be recharged, which it always does, I need to have this. Mints that my friend brought back from South of France for me, but I'm sure you can find this in London. I'm sure I've seen them in London. Baby wipes. Oh, a must. Um, I always carry these Compete Gel Plasters with me. 
and I have also got some normal plasters, fabric plasters in there as well. I've got super sensitive feet, so I need to always carry the plasters with me. I've also got a measuring tape with me at all times because um, we're constantly looking for furniture. We've, uh, we've bought a new flat, so we have bought some furniture, but we're still getting some pieces. So I've got all the measurements in my diary on my phone, so I need to carry this with me. If you're a dog owner, you know what this is. This is my new fear in life. This is how much my life has changed. <laughs> my new fear in life is to run out of these. So I've got them in every single bag, on the leash, just in case I run out of the ones on the leash, I need to have them in every pocket. It's just, every time I put my hands in my pocket, I just come out with these bags. Oh dear. I always carry a jewelry pouch with me. So I have everything in one place. I like to wear really uh, basic, simple clothes uh, with clean lines, but I do like to layer jewellery and I think more is more when it comes to the jewellery most of the time. So I like to carry this with me uh, because sometimes I go overboard and I need to take some off, so I like to have them there. And sometimes I feel like I haven't layered enough, or if I'm going out in the evening from being out all day and I want to layer more to make it look more evening -y or have bigger statement pieces and take smaller pieces off, etc. I like to have everything in one space. Pen that I uh, stole from the post office. Um, it, you know, sometimes you just find a pen that writes really smoothly. And this is one of the like, it's one of the big ones. I think I need to get more of these to have in the flat. I quite like the way this wrote, so I should get. Always carry hairbands and hairpins with me. because I'm a dog owner. This is because Finn is shedding, because he wants to have his summer body. You know, he wants to look nice and slim for, for the summer, so he's shedding a lot, so I need to carry that with me. Hence, materials like this, because I can just dust it off. Um, flamingo tissues. I've got another pen here. This is from Montegrappa. It's a hexagon black one with a really soft rose gold rollerball pen. I like quite masculine looking things sometimes because they just look more simple and clean cut. I shop in the men's department all the time actually, for that reason. This is on my hands. This is a recipe that's been passed down from my mom. My mom is 65, she's got the smoothest, softest hands and she doesn't have a single pigmentation on them. And that is because she has religiously used this formula since she was in her early early 20s, I think. So I've got them all across the flat. I've got them in a Guerlain um, atomizer in my bag. So I just use this like so and it's just, I love the feel of it. it smells of lavender. Love it. Have I showed you everything? No. Um, my Smites and card holder is here. It matches my diary, so I've got all my business cards there. Products all over it now because of my hand cream. And it's so humid that it's sort of like not absorbing as quickly as it, as it, as it normally does. This is the perfect size wallet. This is um, from Chanel. It's in caviar leather, in black. And you've got space for all of your cards there. Notes there, coins there. It's honestly the best size. I've got larger ones and I don't use them anymore. This goes into my big bags as well as my smaller bags. I love this size. I think that's it, is that it? That's it. That's all I've got in my bag. I go from carrying all of this to carrying nothing but a card, a card and my diary. I'm clumsy, can't help it. So yeah, it's all or nothing for me. Thanks for watching, see you next week, bye.